You should have. Hi everyone, today I would like to talk to you about Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is a stand-up comedian in America who was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1979. Fun fact, me and Kevin Hart are the same age. Why? I am a smidge taller, I think, though. <laughs> so Kevin Hart is a stand-up comedian. He's, he's known for his comedy. He's really funny. I've seen him. I saw his show in Buffalo. He was great. One of the best comedy shows I've ever seen. I've seen quite a few. Um, he just, he really knows how to bring out like a character. Um, even if he's talking about like his family, he really knows how to really, really play that role. He's hilarious. So, he's also an actor. Some of his movies include Ride Along and Jumanji. Jumanji is actually one of my favorite Kevin Hart movies, um, because I liked Jumanji as a kid. And the new Jumanji, I think, is a thousand times better unpopular opinion. However, I really love the new Jumanji's. So, Kevin Hart also does voiceover work. He plays a little angry rabbit named Snowball in The Secret Life of Pets, the first one and the second one. And he plays George, he is the voice for George Beard in Captain Underpants, which is a movie about a superhero that George Beard draws and he wears underwear and it's, and they make the principal into Captain Underpants. It's hilarious. So, in 2017, Kevin Hart founded LOL Productions, which is a digital comedy network. Kevin Hart is a huge family man. He is married and has four children. This is a picture of him and his wife and his four children. Um, the youngest, I want to say, is around one. She's very recent to the world. So... What I'd really like to talk to you about today is how Kevin Hart doesn't just play comedy roles, even though that's what he's known for. He also plays some very heartfelt roles. Um, he was in the movie Upside, which is a movie about Kevin Hart, who is a struggling parolee. Um, he is hired to help a wealthy quadriplegic. Um, and the two of them just end up with this crazy friendship that you would never expect. Um, a movie I'd like to talk more about, though, as a heartfelt role, is his role as Matthew Laughlin in um, Fatherhood. So, Kevin Hart being a family man, I think, plays this role very well because he really loves his kids. So, in the movie, he is married and his wife passes away. She gives birth after she, like, while passing away. So, um... She, she's in a, I think she's in a car accident from what I remember from the movie. So he's this, he ends up a single dad who struggles to raise his daughter after his wife's death. Um, he at one point, he, he has the help of his friends, but his friends are kind of like, you know, they're like bachelors. They don't have kids themselves. Um, so it's very hard for him. And his, his mother and father and his wife's mother and father all live pretty far away. So he at one point goes and visits them and leaves his daughter with them. And they, he very quickly realizes that his life is not the same without his daughter. And I think being a family man and being such a great guy is what, is what helps him play this role very well. This movie does have a little bit of comedy in it. Um, however, it's definitely a very heartfelt movie and I highly recommend it to anyone. So, Kevin Hart is just like an all around like funny guy. But if you're looking for a good heartfelt movie, he's your guy too. So if, like his comedy is great. He, I've recently seen him in, on Jimmy Fallon, um, where he did a, um, he went to a haunted house with Jimmy Fallon and he was scared out of his mind. But he also was on um, Wild and Out which he went on twice. The first time he went on, he um, he lost because at the end they brought out a car, a car seat and told him it was his ride home. It was hilarious. Wild and Out is like a show where they kind of like talk crap to each other and kind of like roast each other. It's really good. Um, and then the, So he came back a second time to win and he won. So he won the title back. But again, if you're looking for comedy, he's definitely your guy. But I also suggest looking up some more of his heartfelt movies. Thank you very much.